All right, this is the rough mock of quarter elliptical springs that are recessed in a two by three rectangular. The uh, kits are available from Speedway, but they come with a box on the outside and all the shackles and, and whatnot, which you don't need. Posey sells their own kit. I think they're called Super Slide. Uh, these are the heavy version. I'm running a big block Chevy in the car. So there's some adjustment in here. You can take and weld a nut, which I'm gonna end up welding one nut with a bolt. That's gonna keep the car a little bit higher. Um, my car is gonna be sitting on the ground. I've got six inches of uh, kick up in the front. So I'm really, really tight when it comes to uh, clearances and, and whatnot. So with that said, uh, I'm running around, um, I'm running a tube axle on the front. They really don't recommend that just because of the flex, you can actually break it. But he says, as long as I four bart, top, top two is gonna basically count as my as my four, four bar. And then uh, run my radius rods down. I'm gonna take and kick my shocks out, a little bit of an angle, that'll help. And I don't think I'll be able to put a pan hard bar on there up front. I may be able to, if I can, I will. But uh, I sunk the springs down in the two by three rectangular. These springs are inch and three quarters, um, inch and three quarters wide. So it's a nice way to go. But you gotta remember that anytime you do this, you're kind of limited. As you can see how the setup with the radiator core support and the axle and everything, you get about two inches when you rotate your axle straight up and down. I kept 31 inches from the firewall to the core support so I can squeeze a big block Chevy in there. But uh, you gotta remember your car is gonna have extended wheelbase. This car, at bare minimum, I've got 31 inches in there. All right, that's what you need to have. At that, with the kick ups in the rear, 12 inches of kick in the rear, my car, my car was at 130 inches on the wheelbase. I squeezed it down to 125 inches. Just remember your car will be longer. I kind of like that look. So any questions, uh, give me a call. My name is Dave, 702-683-5143. 702-683-5143. There's not a whole lot of information out there on the web about quarter elliptical. A lot of the stuff you're gonna find has to do with four wheel drive trucks, rear, very few in, in the front, but uh, it's, something you got to kind of figure out on your own and uh, like I said I've been screwing around with this for about a month now and I think I got it where I'm I'm no expert but you know I figured out some of the stuff you need to do so any questions give me a call later